So, dear student, uh, now we will discuss why we need to study the European Union law. I know from my own experience as a student, though it was a long years ago, but still I remember that every time when I started uh, a new subject, I immediately ask myself, what is the reason for studying this subject? Whether it would be useful for me or interesting for me? What is the sense of studying this subject? I know that every student, especially now, has a lot of obligations and this is especially true for the students of low residence or how we will say in Belarusian, uh, students of zavochnoy formy nauczania. I know that these people usually work and have limited time uh, that they could devote to study. So this question is especially important for you why we need to learn the European law and what is a subject at all, what is about European law. It's not so easy to answer. Uh, for me, the easiest way to answer my question would be the following. We should learn this subject because it is in the curriculum, the plan of obligatory subjects that was approved by the university authorities, by the Ministry of Education of Lithuania and by the Lithuanian Center, which is responsible for the quality of study. It will be mentioned in the supplement to your diploma. Moreover, the whole name of our program is International Law and European Union Law. That is true, but this is only a part of the answer. You should bear in mind that European uh, law, one, our subject, is not the only subject that you will learn and what is dealing with the European issues. The whole program of our education, as I told you, has the name International Law and European Union Law. And it means that we have to learn several subjects devoted to the different branches of the European law. For example, next semester you will have uh, the subject with the name European Law 2. You will also learn European Labour Law, European Business Law, etc., etc., etc. So I would like uh, you to know that uh, the knowledge that you will obtain, hopefully, during our course uh, will be definitely useful for you and it is a basis for your future uh, success in our academic program. What is European law about? It is not so easy to understand from the name because, for example, if we are speaking about family name, uh, about family law, then we understand that this subject is devoted to the relations between members of the families, between parents, for example, uh, how to marry, how to divorce, and uh, so on. When we, for example, speak about the land law, it is understandable that this branch of law regulates something uh, like use of the land, property rights of the land, etc. The labor law, for example, is about employee and employer. But it is not possible to answer what is European law just from the name. So, speaking in a nutshell, European law, this is a system of legal norms adopted by the states, participants of the European Union, that regulate integration process between them. From this point of view, it is extremely important for us to remember uh, to know the EU law in order to evaluate the position uh, of our country, of Belarus, in the uh, contemporary world. You probably remember that Belarus is also a member of the Union, but of the other Union. On May 29, 2014, 
presidents of Belarus, Kazakhstan, and Russian Federation signed so-called agreement on the Eurasian Economic Union. Eurasian Economic Union Agreement came into force on January 1, 2015. So, it's important for us to understand what is the better choice for our country to stay in this Eurasian Economic Union or maybe to try to be a member of the European Union in the future. What are effects, positive and negative sides of the integration process? Maybe it is worth trying to participate in the process of integration of integrations. You will get the answer to yourself to this question if you will learn this subject. Of course, it's still not enough. I understand this. People with legal education are usually have a pragmatic approach to things. How can you personally use the knowledge and especially skills and abilities that you will catch from the course? I will try to explain you further. Thanks to the kind help of the Lithuanian government and financial help from several international donors, you know that our university is located in Lithuania. Lithuania from 2004 is a member of the European Union and your every step on the Lithuanian soil, starting from the border control, using public transportation, drinking beer in the bar or coffee in the coffee shop, eating lunch at the university canteen is regulated not only by Lithuanian legislation, but first of all by the European Union norms, but by European Union uh, legal regulations. For example, if you will open the law on foreign persons in Lithuania, and you have to know this uh, law quite well because it's dealing with your legal rights and obligations, you will realize that it mainly consists of hundreds of legal norms that were adopted by the European Union. Everything that deals with your visa, crossing the border of the European Union, staying on the territory of the EU is under the regulations of the EU legislation. So it's good to know it just from a pragmatic point of view. To know well EU regulations is also very good for your personal budget. It's good for your money. Here is an example with flights and travel by trains. Uh, you should know uh, that according to the uh, European legislation, if a flight is overbooked or concealed, for example, or if your suitcase disappears during your trip from Lithuania to some other European countries, you, as a passenger, are entitled to financial compensation. EU legal norms ensure this. The same applies for journeys by rail. Uh, for example, you can get up to 600 euro, uh, depending on the distance of your flight, if your flight was late or concealed at all. You also uh, could use uh, the hotel free of charge and you will have some more privileges, including, for example, if your train is late in the night, you are entitled to use a taxi. For sure you don't know about it and have the cost reimbursed up to a maximum of 80 euro. So it's nice to know some uh, European legal rules just for you. A final exam. Erasmus Mundus program. You probably know that Erasmus of Rotterdam was a humanist educated in Europe and he lent his name to the world's largest foreign exchange program for students, trainees and teachers. The European Erasmus 
program which celebrates its 30th anniversary this year, 2017. Student, also students of low resident, residents could spend uh, up to two semesters abroad in the other European university. They will get a financial grant uh, for this purpose and they don't have to pay any tuition fee uh, that may be charged by the host university. And spending time abroad is very good for your career. According to the statistics, Erasmus students are twice as likely as other students to find the job when they finish their studies. I wouldn't speak about roaming, for example. Again, due to the efforts of the European Commission, uh, in practice, uh, there is no difference between calling inside the European country or if you are calling from one European country to other, so-called roaming. It's now the same price and it's due to the European uh, legal norms. Speaking briefly, if you know Belarusian law, you know only Belarusian law. If you know Lithuanian law, you will know only Lithuanian law. But if you understand and know the system of European Union law, it is much more easier for you to understand the legal system of any country, including United States of America, for example. The uh, is the member or not is the member of the European Union. So, dear colleagues, I am tried to do my best in order to convince you to take EU law seriously. But of course, the final decision is always rests with you. Thank you for your attention.